So for these questions, I'm going to be using the convention that I use, which is that I'm going to feel free to <laughs> use a complex impedance. So complex impedance of my registers will be R, same resistance you've known. Complex impedance of my capacitor will be 1 over I omega C, or sometimes when convenient, I'll write it as minus I over omega C. And complex impedance of my inductor will be I omega L. So, um, so I'm going to use these expressions because uh, that's how you would analyze any AC circuit in classes uh, at the levels above this one. So, hey, my, let's all start early. You already know about complex numbers. So, the question says, at 1,010 hertz, the reactance by which they mean the absolute value of the, comp the impedance of inductor of 18 millihenry inductor um, is equal to the reactance, again, the absolute value of the complex impedance of capacitor of a particular capacitor. What is the capacitance, capacitance of the capacitor? Okay, let me set up the equation. So this is the information that the question gave us. Uh, let's uh, use our expressions for the impedance. So the absolute value of the the impedance of the inductor will be omega L. That should be equal to absolute value of the impedance of capacitance capacitor, uh, 1 over omega C. It's positive and real. So, okay, um, I guess I'm looking for C in the end. So let me just solve this expression for C. Uh, C is equal to 1 over L omega squared. Okay, I think I have all the numbers. Yeah, so I am, am given the frequency. So I need to remember that omega is 2 pi times the frequency given. And with that remembered, I can just uh, type this out. Uh, uh, let me do it this way. <laughs> Define the variables. Uh, omega, f, and l. So for c, my expression is... Uh, uh, 1 over L times omega squared. That's my C. And I can substitute in values. So omega will be, uh, uh, oh, let me do it this way, 2 pi times F. And let me do another substitution, this time with all the numbers. My frequency will be 1,010 hertz. And my inductance will be 18 times 10 to the power of minus 3 for milli and henry. Okay, I think that's all the numbers. Uh, let me make sure you don't do, uh, or let me put this through decimal approximation so that I can type it out. So I get 1.38 times 10 to the power of minus 6. That times 10 to the power of minus 6 matches to this micro, so I can just put in 1.38 farad, uh, micro farad. So yeah, simple uh, kind of plug-in in formula exercise. <laughs> let me go to question 4-4. Uh, uh, yeah, let me do it this way. So I'm still going to be using my complex impedances, um, but uh, let me just uh, erase this uh, question-specific material from earlier question so that I can <laughs> write new stuff for this question. So um, again, I'm going to be using uh, the complex impedance because that's uh, how I prefer to analyze AC circuits. It's asking about a series combination of uh, these circuit elements. So I have some register of some given resistance, and I have some capacitor of some given capacitance. Oh, and another capacitor <laughs> is some given capacitance. Okay, I think I can just add them all. So when you are dealing with the impedance, everything adds like registers. So this register has some impedance, that's the resistance. These capacitors have some uh, impedances that will come directly from this expression. And when you are using these, you can add these impedances like, like registers, and it will give you the correct impedance. You can kind of see that here that C is in the denominator. So the earlier rules you learned about adding capacitors in series and in parallel, they, they, they actually are consistent with what we are doing here. 
So let me do that addition quickly. Uh, we have um, R plus uh, minus I over omega C plus uh, or C1 minus I over omega C2 or just doing a little bit of simplification for the complex number R um, minus I times 1 over omega C1 plus 1 over omega C2. Now, if you try to type in this complex number here uh, directly, uh, it'll tell you it's wrong. Um, and the uh, reason it's wrong is, uh, so it's uh, asking for impedance. And so if we, we could say this is some complex number, um, what they are asking for isn't the complex number itself. For one, your textbook doesn't use it. Uh, what they mean by impedance without the phase angle really is the absolute value of this complex number. And with the absolute values of complex number, if you want to calculate it directly, you can do that using this uh, uh, formula that I introduced in lecture. Absolute value of a complex number is it's a complex conjugate times the complex number square rooted. This is like a squaring, like squaring a real number, except in the case of a complex number, this is guaranteed to be real and positive. Um, and and the, the complex conjugate, all that means is uh, wherever you see i, make it minus i. That's what complex conjugation operation is. So, so you can do that formula. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut. So if you can express a complex number in the Cartesian form, a real part plus an imaginary part, um, what this absolute value is, it's kind of what you expect uh, absolute value or length of a uh, vector to be. It's a square root of a squared plus b squared. So let me do it this way. I'm going to calculate a and b separately. And I will just uh, do this numerical calculation, and that will be my answer. So my A is going to be my uh, well, resistance, 10.1. And my B will be, OK, so I'm adding these two quantities, 1 over omega C, omega C1 plus 1 over omega C2. So 1 over omega uh, ah, frequency of 1.9 kilohertz. So uh, 1.9 times 10 to the power of 3 times 2 pi for uh, conversion to omega times the capacitance of 5 times 10 to the power of minus 6 micro farad. So, okay, so that should be the first term. Let me add the second term 1 over 1.9 10 to the power of 3 times 2 pi times um, this time 10 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Uh, so microfarad. Okay, those are my a's and b's, and I can say my g is the square root of a squared plus b squared, and print out g so that I can type it. Oh wait, oh. yeah, fifty-six point um, zero ohm. Yeah, I think that's right at the border. Yeah, there it is. So impedance of a uh, a uh, series of combination of these is that. So uh, oh, one thing you see is that at this high frequency, the capacitors practically do almost nothing. Um, this uh, most of 90% of this uh, impedance is coming from the register.